Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch. Welcome back to another video. Um, I know this video is a little bit different. Uh, I'm recording on my laptop instead of my phone as usual, but um, there's no intro, no outro like usual. This is just going to be a very um, open and honest uh, Erin Talks video. So feel free to grab a drink, uh, some coffee or something, or maybe some water if you're trying to stay hydrated. Um, sorry, my thing is being weird. Uh, I have my water bottle here uh, that I will be drinking from because uh, we have a lot to talk about today. Um, and, and it really does include my mental health journey. So I'm not going to get too specific with anything, but I just want to talk about my experience and maybe it would help some people out there as well. So let's get right into it. Um, essentially, if you've clicked on this video, you have experienced or are still experiencing anxiety attacks. They are more well known than we would like to be, uh, in the world. Um, I know so many people that deal with anxiety in many different ways, not just with anxiety attacks, but just in many, many different ways, you know, like just in general, just have them, um, but for me, I have not had an anxiety attack. I don't even remember the last time I had an anxiety attack. And today, this morning, I had one. And I'm, I'm feeling better now, clearly. Um, I kind of took today as like a mental health day, but I did want to record a video. And this is the video. <laughs> um, but basically, long story short, so I haven't really been feeling like I've been feeling fine that's what I was trying to say I haven't really been feeling like out of it or like um anxious or anything but I've been feeling fine things have been going good you know obviously with life there comes good and bad you know there'll be some bad days some good days whatever things were just going good in my side of the world and I, I've just been getting really crazy dreams I don't know if it's because I uh smoke weed um but I've been lately anyways been getting really really weird dreams um like just basically just sometimes it's with me and my boyfriend and it's like um one time I had this dream where I literally went to sleep and had my dream and it was literally back in high school that's a lot of what my dreams are back in high school because that's just when a lot of, I guess, shitty things happen, but a lot of good things happen in high school, too. But for some reason, a lot of my dreams have been in high school, not my high school, but just a high school in general. And um, in particular, my boyfriend was in it, and I got upset because he chose a different girl over me for a science project. I know it sounds super stupid talking about it out loud, but I woke up crying over it. And I don't know if it was just an immediate response because I, it literally happened in my dream and I woke up because of Henry or my, and my dog barking and I just woke up and started bawling my eyes out. And it was, I'm, I'm laughing at it now because of how ridiculous the dream sounds and me crying over it, but it really hurt my feelings to see my boyfriend choose another girl over me. You know, if you have a boyfriend yourself or a girlfriend and you know the feeling um, of just kind of if if you have like a weird dream about it or something. Um, but yeah, so long story short, I just kind of woke up crying, texted my boyfriend immediately, and he was kind of being funny about it. He was just like, oh, I hate my dream self, you know, like, because that would never happen in real life. I know that that wouldn't happen with me and him, but I think it's also just because of my past trauma with um, relationships. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I um, have been through some pretty, pretty uh, emotional relationships, we'll just say, and I think that that it stemmed from that as well. Um, so that was a really, you know, it really affected me kind of dream. Um, and then I had really vivid dreams after that, but they were more or less funny. So I don't know. And then last night I had a dream. I literally was asleep for 12 hours, which is the crazy part. I never sleep for more than like, so typically I go to bed around like 11 and I'll wake up around like eight. So about nine hours, right? I went to bed at normal time last night. 
and I woke up today at almost 11 and I haven't slept that much in a very long time. Maybe my body needs the sleep, who knows, but in my dream, it was so vivid that I could easily retell it. And I'll talk about it, because why not? Um, I won't go into specific details like people's names or anything, but I will talk about my view of the dream. Essentially, my family had brought me to an event that happened to have balloons, loud noises, and just too much going on. And if anyone knows me, I have a slight fear of balloons. <laughs> That's why I never will have balloons at uh, parties and stuff. I don't mind seeing them. They make me a little anxious seeing them. I don't like the popping noise of balloons. I just never liked it. If anyone has a party with balloons, I'm not going to have a good time at them because it's just an anxiety uh, thing that I have. I just don't like the noise of it and the popping noise and just the sudden noise itself is just not my thing. There were fireworks in my dream and fireworks are not my best friend either. I just don't like loud sudden noises because they just bother me a lot. And all of this was happening in my dream. And also there was loud, like um, just loud things going on, like loud gunshots and loud, too loud of music. Like I could handle loud music. I've been to concerts and stuff, but this was loud in my dream for some reason. So I vividly remember me like plugging my ears like this and like, everything was muffled like I was just doing and um it was just a bad time I was literally in my dream going like this like shaking because of how anxious I was in my dream and I just kept telling my parents and my sister like I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry like I just feel this way and it was just scary and like I was like I really want to get out of here I just want to go home I just want to go home and um they never brought me home there was no resolution really because for some reason in the dream there was no transportation home it was just we were there until the event was done and i just had to get through it but i was just struggling in my dream and it just kept going on like this of with the fireworks the loud noises me muffled with my ears um like that and me just like crying in my dream and shaking legit shaking and i woke up and um, basically, all I remember was waking up and my whole body was shaking uncontrollably. And I just immediately grabbed my phone and realized I didn't even plug my phone in last night. So that's another thing I'm going to be practicing is making sure that I plug my phone in over here because this is like the where the where I charge my phone, my charging station, I guess, is over here. So I got to make sure that I put my phone over here because for some reason, maybe the frequencies of my phone is making me have vivid dreams because every time I leave my phone on my bed, I have these dreams. So I'm going to try that. But anywho, uh, I'm shaking as I'm awake in my bed. I'm pointing over there because that's where my bed is. And um, I just remembered like texting my boyfriend like normal to say good morning. And I just felt that anxiety, that shakiness that and then all of a sudden I felt this pain in my neck right here. Um, and I think I just slept on it weird. I must have done some weird movements of like moving my head back and forth or something while I was sleeping or something. I don't know. But I basically woke up and was just shaking and upset and not crying, but just upset, just like sad. And I was the, I'm the only one in the house at this point. Everyone else has gone to work. It's like almost 11, like 1030, 1045 ish. And I was like, I should probably get up. And, um, so I get out of bed, start getting my socks on. I find a sock. I know that's a random detail, but like I did laundry the other day and I get, and I couldn't find one of my socks and it was in my bed apparently. So that happened. So I put on those socks since I found the sock to it, put on my slippers, get myself downstairs. I put the dogs out. I go to the bathroom and then I hear my dog Teddy barking. So I get frustrated because I'm like, ugh barking at the neighbor dog this is just an ongoing thing it's just sometimes the dogs will be out, out at the same time my neighbor's dogs and my dogs and then they'll hear each other and then just start barking at each other and I know that there's some people in my neighborhood that doesn't like that the barking but like come on you gotta just deal with it they're dogs but me being like oh I don't want Teddy barking out there for out for a long time so I quickly go to the bathroom I get out bring the dogs in yada yada 
and then I start making my coffee. And all of a sudden, I just feel this more anxiety-ridden feeling and the feeling of feeling like I got to throw up. Not a nauseous feeling, but just a, oh my God, like I need to get this out of my system. So I start crying because I'm scared of what's happening. I text my boyfriend and I'm like, I I don't know what's happening. I feel like I'm going to throw up, blah, blah, blah. And not even a minute later, I just feel like I have to throw up so I just immediately run to the bathroom thankfully we have a bathroom right next to the kitchen and I throw up twice and not and I'm not trying to be gross here so sorry if this is TMI but I'm just trying to explain that it wasn't like typical it was just clear like almost like spit up like from a baby I was that's how I like describe it and um it was just weird because I know that I wasn't sick I think it was just my body trying to get this anxiety feeling out of my body. And it was just weird and crazy and something I haven't felt in a very long time. I don't remember the last time I felt so anxious that I had to throw up, you know what I mean? And if any of you have gone through this or go through this multiple times, I I feel bad. I am so sorry that you have to go through this because this has happened to me once in a blue moon, like this anxiety feeling. But I don't think I've ever had a bad anxiety attack like that to the point where I had to throw up. So that was just my body trying to get something out, like trying to get the, you know, your body fights back against, you know, sicknesses and stuff. So they try to get it out by, you know, coughing or sneezing or whatever. And it just so happened that my body just wanted to do that. And excuse me. Um, At first I had this little thought in my head like oh my god I'm throwing up because I had sushi yesterday um I had ordered myself sushi for lunch uh just to like treat myself and I was in the mood for sushi and I found out about this place that had uh three rolls for 20 bucks super cheap deal I was like cool I'll get that and I thought it was that but it was not a sickness thing at all it was just honestly my body just trying to get the anxiety out and after that I literally just kept making my coffee. I don't know why I kept making my coffee. I think I was just trying to get myself back into my routine. I was doing my deep breathing. I was just trying to breathe. That was the big thing that I just felt like my chest, like being very heavy and just feeling like I was gasping for air, not like in a way that I was sick of, you know, like sick from chest congestion or something but it was definitely anxiety and my boyfriend called me we kind of talked through it together yada yada I texted my parents about the thing about what happened telling them that I've been doing a good job of my mental health and I just wanted to tell them I love them and that I was I basically was just doing all of my coping skills which I will explain now what my coping skills were to get through that in case any of you experience this ever in your life or if you go through anxiety attacks similar to this feeling I want to help you or just at least tell you what worked for me so what worked for me was of course the deep breathing the I've always done the four square breathing so it's like in for four hold for four out for four rest for four so I was just like four like that. So you're inhaling for four seconds, holding for four seconds, exhaling, and then resting. That really helped me to kind of do that. But I was also, while I did that, I did exhale more than usual, just because I know that exhaling is helping to get it out. And that's what my body wanted to do was just get this anxious feeling out of my body. Um, And so I did that. That's what I was doing as I was making my coffee. And no, I did not drink my coffee right away. I allowed myself to first calm down before drinking the coffee because that's my my normal routine, you know, having coffee in the morning. Um, but then I just wanted to talk to some some people, somebody that I love. And the first three people that came to my head were my boyfriend, my mom, and my dad were like the first three people I knew that I could go to 
to just tell them what was going on. So I texted both of them, obviously, my boyfriend first, because we always do a good morning text thing, but I kept them updated. And then I, of course, texted my parents, everything what happened. And um, my boyfriend called me and we just talked it out. We just, you know, he, he helped me a lot to just try to, you know, calm down. And then my mom called me while my boyfriend was on the phone with me. And she just wanted to check in on me to make sure, because there's just been, um, the neurovirus has been going around, too, so she was just worried that it could be that. So she asked me if I had a sore throat, and I said no. So it's definitely not a sickness thing, it's more anxiety thing. Um, so yeah. So I talked to people that I loved after I got off the phone with my mom, and then I finished my conversation with my boyfriend. I made myself some good food because I needed some food. My I felt my body, you know, um, my stomach growling. So I was just putting my body first. So make sure after you have the anxiety attack, check in with your body. What does your body need? Does it need water? Does it need food? Does it need rest? Does it need whatever? So for me, I just was sipping my coffee very slowly while I was making my breakfast. I made a egg and cheese with ham uh grilled sandwich um with a banana I wanted to have something healthy not anything like pasta or anything um not anything like super hefty I guess um and I put on some funny videos my favorite go-to funny video people are game grumps uh just because I find their humor hilarious but it could be literally anything sometimes I'll even put on Jeff Dunham or Randy Feltman is another one. Uh, just putting on something funny and lighthearted is super helpful. I don't want to watch any drama-related things. I don't want to watch anything too sad because I just went through something really traumatic. So I want to just get the positive vibes going. So that's what I did. I ate my breakfast and watched um some game grumps it was like a half an hour video I was gonna watch one video and then my boyfriend sent me another one and I was like I'll watch that one instead and um he always sends me little videos during the day I do the same thing to him um but yeah so I watched that video while I ate cleared my stuff and then I remembered um well I already knew my plan for the day was definitely to do my walk because I'm doing a walking challenge so because of that, I was like, I'm still going to do that because movement does help with my anxiety for sure. I know I was definitely nervous about going out while post anxiety attack, but I was like, I can just keep to myself. I don't have to talk to anybody. I can just smile at people if they walk by and just do my thing. And yeah. And one thing I will mention is that my dog, Teddy, he's the, he could be the best dog and the worst dog all at the same time. He, of course, frustrated me this morning when he was barking a lot. But during the whole time that I was like crying and processing through my anxiety attack and trying to calm myself down, he was there for me the entire time. He was literally, I was in my living room sitting on the chair and then we have these like ottomans and he was just sitting on one of them the entire time right in front of me and just having me focus on me petting him. So if you have a pet, that's a good mindfulness activity is to do that breathing on top of focusing on petting your dog. And Teddy is good about, you know, being there for me. Every time that I've ever cried or felt sad or if something was up, he always wanted to come to me to see what was wrong. And that's exactly what he did the entire time. He's not an emotional support dog or anything. He's not trained. It's just, I have been his, you know, companion ever since I was the first thing he saw when he was born because I was there when he was born so I have just all he's been my little buddy ever since so he uh he was definitely a big help to have somebody there physically um I know he's an animal but it's just good to have an animal sometimes too um and if you don't have an animal before I even had Teddy and Henry I remember I used to squeeze my stuffed animals all the time I didn't I didn't at this moment because I was in the living room and I was with my dog so I used him but I would have gone upstairs and hugged my stuffed animals if my dog Teddy was not there but he was so anyways back to the dog walking um I was getting ready I got myself ready for 
the dog walk and I just went and Teddy was so good. Thankfully, there was no other dogs. There was just one person that I had to walk by. Uh, actually, two people. One person was just walking and the other person was walking with a stroller. So no dogs anyways. There was dogs in the neighborhood and stuff, but they weren't like right there, you know, like walking also. So it was a good walk. I did a two mile walk um, with them and it honestly helped me a lot to just get outside and burn off some energy and get and focus and I had my EDM music blaring because I love my EDM music you can play whatever music you want honestly but that's just my walking music so it helps keep me focused on what I'm doing and yada yada um but yeah and then got home and I knew that I hadn't showered <laughs> since Monday today is Wednesday the day that I'm recording this is the same day it's going to be uploaded um I knew I hadn't showered since Monday so I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna shower I'm gonna I know my body needs it. I'm sweaty as hell right now. <laughs> I just went for a long walk. So I feel like this would be good. And it might help my neck a little bit too, which it did. Um, just to like put some hot water on it and just kind of stretch it out. So I took a nice hot shower, which that really helps. Taking a shower or bath is just super helpful, especially after doing some movement. I recommend doing the movement and then relaxing with the uh, shower or bath, whatever you prefer. I just do shower because my bathtub is just not, I don't know, I would take baths in it, but I want to wait till I have my own place for that and stuff, but um, yeah, so I showered and then uh, got dressed for the day. This is my, my chill shirt. I love this shirt. I wore something that I just feel happy in and comfy in, so I'm just literally wearing my chill shirt and some sweatpants. I uh, put my hair up because that's what I normally do after I shower. Um, and then I did the dishes because they just had to be done and they're annoying as heck, but it's just part of my daily routine. So I just got it done. And then here I am sitting here recording this video, um, and talking about it and talking about my experience because I feel like that it could help at least one person out there that may also go through anxiety like myself. I'm just going to take a quick water break. Feel free to as well. But yeah, it's been a rough morning, but I feel like and it's already 2.23 right now as I'm recording this, but the rest of my day, this is my plan, and if any of you are going through an anxiety-ridden day or something, maybe this could be your little checklist. Um, number one, eat something for sure. Eat and drink something. That's like number one, getting something into your body. Number two is definitely talk to somebody you love okay three get some movement in you don't even have to go out into the world you could just do like an at-home workout if you'd like uh, but if you have dogs definitely bring them for a walk highly recommend it doesn't have to be a long walk either it could just be up and down your street it doesn't have to be like I did <laughs> I just did that because I'm doing this walking challenge um and then definitely take care of your body so again that could be eating and drinking something or showering or maybe doing some stretches some yoga um whatever it is just listen to your body whatever it needs do it if you need to rest rest if you need food eat food just listen to it you know um and then the rest of my day what i'm doing well first off i'm recording this video just to get my story out there uh to you guys so maybe share your experience talk to somebody about it going back to the talking to somebody you love thing. Um, definitely do the deep breathing and mindfulness as well. That's super helpful throughout the day. Just making sure that you're doing your deep breathing and just checking in with yourself. But now, after this video, my plan, my top three things I want to do uh, the rest of the day. One, I definitely want to eat some lunch because <laughs> I only eat breakfast technically and I know my body will get hungry and I don't want to just eat chips or something. So I got to figure out something for lunch. Two, I want to do some journaling, getting what uh, happened to me out of my body, making a, you know, being creative of some sort. Journaling, I want to do journaling, I want to do coloring, just being creative um, and working on my puzzle because I'm working on this 3D puzzle. It's pretty cool. 
shorthand of my hobbies in general, I guess, would be number two. Um, and then number three, I definitely want to just take time for me, which kind of coincides with number two, but I just don't want to be on here <laughs> today. I just don't want to associate with much people. Uh, the only person I really want to text is my boyfriend um, and my family. So I honestly won't be much on social media today. Just to kind of take a little social media break, I guess. Um, YouTube is fine. I have YouTube on all the time in the background and stuff. But I'm talking about, like, checking Instagram, checking uh, all the stuff. Um, just taking a break from that today. Taking a little social media break. Those are always helpful because sometimes it can just be way too much to handle, you know? But those are the things that I am planning on doing today after what I just went through. And I shared with you all what I went through. And I want to thank you all for whoever is still listening to my chatty Erin Talks kind of podcasty episode. I just wanted to get it out there and see if it will help anybody and talk about my experience. And maybe this will help somebody out there that is also either going through anxiety attacks or has gone through an anxiety attack or maybe wants to save this for when when and if you go through an anxiety attack. Just to let you know, this was not the video I planned today. I actually had planned to do a chill with me vlog of me just kind of getting high and doing something, you know, creative, like craftiness. But honestly, I feel like this is a better video for today. So I'll save the chill with me vlog for another time. Uh, maybe that'll be next week's video. Who knows? But um yeah, so that is what I wanted to talk about today. Sorry for being a Debbie Downer, but also I hope that these tips helped, and I will definitely be doing these today. Um, let me know if any of you have gone, th let me know your stories down below if you feel comfortable to, or let me know if there's any other coping skills that you like doing, um, and share them in the comments if you like. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's Erin Talks video. Be sure to check out the description box down below to follow me on my other channels if you want to see more content from me. Uh, I have five channels now, <laughs> including this one. So there's so much content to be thrown around. Uh, but yeah, so definitely go check those out. Check out my other social medias. All of that is in the description box for you guys. But again, I will not be online as much today. This is probably the extent that I will be online today. Just taking time for myself for today just having a mental health day but tomorrow tomorrow will be better tomorrow i will be rested i will be recharged <sighs> just gotta take one step at a time um thank you guys so much for listening and i will see you guys all in the next video bye guys